Pierre Poilievre's impassioned inquiry into the actions of the Justin Trudeau liberals underscores a deep sense of duty and concern for societal matters, particularly in combating the drug crisis. In time, while people are dying, in the year after this radical prime minister granted the decriminalization of crack, heroin, and other hard drugs in parks and hospitals, 2,500 people died. The overdose death in the nine years of this prime minister have tripled to the fastest rising of the 11 countries studied by the Commonwealth Fund. Nurses are afraid to go to work because they have to put up with addicts using meth, crack, and weapons in their hospital room. Even nurses are having to give up on breastfeeding because they're worried their kids will be contaminated with the drugs they breathed in. What the hell are they thinking over there? I withdraw because they're not thinking over there. Last week, we saw the leader of the opposition once again visit with supporters of white supremacy. And misogyny. This has been a regular occurrence. He draws the admiration of people who dismiss the slaughter of children in schools. I unequivocally disavow the guy who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist dressing up in black face. He's accepted the support of Hamas, and now he's he's brought on the extremist and radical position of allowing legal drug use in playgrounds, in hospitals, in coffee shops that has led to the mass death of our people. Will he not refuse the demand of Toronto to replicate the decriminalization nightmare? The silence speaks volumes. This is not leadership, Mr. Speaker. This is political cowardice. Examining Pierre Poilievre's critique of the government's stance on drug decriminalization reveals a call for accountability and effective governance in tackling the pressing public health emergency. It delves into the significance of political scrutiny and accountability within the realms of social responsibility and ethical decision-making. Pierre Poilievre's queries epitomize a genuine political engagement demanding that those in power confront societal challenges head-on and answer for their actions. Effective leadership and decisive measures are pivotal in addressing social crises like the drug epidemic. Criticism is warranted towards the Justin Trudeau liberals for their perceived failure in adequately addressing the rising death toll from drug overdoses and the resultant social fallout. Pierre Poilievre's questioning reflects a plea for governmental leadership and moral integrity in addressing the drug crisis. His insistence on accountability is a reflection of societal values and priorities. Highlighting the repercussions of political ineptitude and indifference in the face of human suffering, it prompts reflection on the dynamics of public discourse and governance in contemporary society. The fervent exchanges within the House of Representatives signify the deep-seated societal tensions and ideological divisions surrounding political issues and policy debates.